This video is about AC balance settings for TIG welding aluminum. Let's do it. This is one of several videos I'm doing on TIG welder settings. I'm taking them one or two settings at a time so that I can do them justice. And then at the end, I'll put them all together in one main video on how to get the most out of the settings on this machine. First thing I'm going to do is switch over to a number five clear cup. That helps me light everything up so we can all see the details of the puddle. I'm going to start off by running a bead with as little cleaning as this machine will allow. So max penetration, minimum cleaning. Now the cleaning is what breaks up the aluminum oxide that's on the surface of all aluminum. You need it. You can see a little bit of it happening there. When I add rod, things get a little bit scummy. A little oxide floating around in the puddle. That's not what we're looking for. No visible etching zone outside the puddle. You want to see a little bit of that frosty cleaning action outside the puddle. You see what's happening here. I've got what they call pepper in the puddle. I don't have enough cleaning action to break up the aluminum oxide, and so some of that aluminum oxide is just in the puddle, and it's a dirty puddle. That's going to have porosity, going to have some problems, and, and plus it just doesn't look good at all. It didn't flow in there like it should. So now let's increase the cleaning action just a little bit, and we'll run a bead at this level and see what happens. So we can tell already we have quite a bit more frosty looking area, but there's some stuff cooking out that's, that's nearby, so it might not be quite enough cleaning, but if I go slow enough, maybe I won't outrun the cleaning. So that's going pretty good right there, but sometimes you want to get things done, you want to be able to puddle and kind of get moving pretty quickly. So I'm going to increase the, re increase the cleaning action just a little bit more and see how the bead looks. Right away I can tell it's going to be pretty good. I've got a nice little frosty zone on both sides as well as in front of the puddle. The puddle is nice and wet and shiny, no black pepper floating around in the puddle. And it's a very stable and controllable arc because the electrode stayed tapered for the most part. It just rounded a little bit on the tip. The more cleaning action you, you set in there though, the more that tip will heat up. So now I'm going to go a little bit higher on the cleaning action and the tip will heat up a little bit. So you want enough cleaning action, but you don't want too much because the tip can heat up too much. And it just about flashed on me there, got really bright. And when that happens, sometimes the tip kind of misshapes, cocks over to one side, and the puddle just swam over without my even trying or, or moving or anything. It just wandered around with me. And so that tells me that, that not really too much cleaning to have a good weld. It's just that to have a stable arc, that was too much cleaning action. So I'm going to dial it back a little bit. This is how we dial stuff in. You got to take it too far to see what's too far. Now that's just about right. Again, that's a nice, nice clean puddle. Plenty of cleaning action. I could, I could dial it back a little bit more than that and still have enough cleaning action, but I like this. So here's a quick tip for dirty or cast aluminum to let that cleaning action work for you. First, clean the aluminum. Get it as clean as you possibly can, but then set the AC balance with a slightly more cleaning than you would normally need and let that cleaning action work for you. What I mean by that is don't puddle the aluminum too quickly. Let that cleaning action dance and walk around, cook some crap out of there, break up the surface oxides, cook out some impurities and just let it heat up a little bit nice and slowly. It takes a little patience, but it's worth it. If you puddle too quickly on castings like this, you get a lot of scum in the puddle. You want to think Think along the lines of brazing when you do this. Just you're flowing metal over the surface. You're not really trying to melt anything below the surface. And in order to do that, you want to let that cleaning action walk and work. Here's another example of a, a casting, an edge of a machined casting. Still got a lot of crud in it. I'm letting that cleaning action work and bake some of that stuff out before I ever puddle. And then once I puddle, I go kind of slow as well and just kind of walk it along nice and slow so that I don't outrun the cleaning action. And that should let you keep a nice, clean, shiny puddle. Now for nice new aluminum, stuff that had a peel coat on it only moments before you welded it, you don't need a high cleaning action. You can use a little less cleaning action, a little more penetration setting to keep the bead a little tighter and more controllable. If you want to learn more about the Prime Weld machine using this video or clear cups or any other high quality TIG welding accessories, visit Weldmonger. Dot com. Right about now you should see a thumbnail for another settings video using this machine. I'm going to go through every setting on this machine until I have videos covering all of them. 
Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.